Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can fix this error. The error that we get on Android devices that is unfortunately uh, Google Play Store has stopped. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of methods and you can try that out. Okay guys, so uh, method one we have is uh, you have to reset app preferences. Okay, so uh, in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here apps or application manager okay so just tap on it and uh, here you need to tap here tap over here three dots and then uh, tap on this reset app preferences okay as you can see a reset app preferences this will reset all preferences for uh, disabled apps disabled you know app notifications default applications for actions uh, background data restrictions for apps any permission restrictions okay and guys you will not lose any data any app data so just tap on reset apps okay guys so it's done and after that you need to you know just restart your phone and let's see if this fixes your issue okay guys so method one you tried but it doesn't work for you okay so you can try this method too uh, you have to clear the cache and data of the google play store so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here apps or application manager okay so here i have you know apps so i just need to tap on it and you have to swipe to the right okay to all tabs and find here google play store so let me find that Okay, so here uh, uh, I have Google Play Store. Just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on OK. As you can see, uh, the data has been cleared and also the cache. Okay, guys, so after that, you need to restart your phone and let's see if this fixes your issue or not. Okay, so you tried this method too and it doesn't work for you. Okay, so uh, you need to try. You know this method 3 and you have to uninstall the updates of Google Play Store if you have this okay so in order to check again you need to go to the settings of your phone and find here apps or application manager so just tap on it and swipe to the right to all tabs over here and find here uh, Google Play Store so let me find that okay Okay, so here I have you know Google Play Store so just tap on it and as you can see that I have you know updates over here okay so and if you see I have this uninstall updates option over here so you just need to tap over here and then tap on okay and it will you know uninstall the updates okay so just tap on okay again as you can see uh, it's uninstalling and uninstall finished okay guys so after that you need to restart your phone and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay guys so you tried method 3 and it also doesn't work for you so you can try this method 4 you have to remove your google account and re-add it okay so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and uh, find your accounts so uh, just tap on it And then tap on Google and you have to remove your you know Gmail okay that is your Google account so uh, just tap on it uh, and you, you know come to this over here and just tap on this three dots over here and then tap on remove account okay and just follow the process and it will remove your account okay I'm not doing this Okay, so after you removed uh, your account, you need to add it. So you just need to go back over here, again tap over here, and you have to come under this account section. Okay, so you have to scroll down at the very bottom, and here you have this option add account. Okay, so just tap on it, and then tap on Google.
as you can see it's checking info and uh, you can enter your email and then password and just follow the default process and uh, you can easily add your uh, google account again and after that you need to restart your phone and uh, let's see if this fixes your issue or not. okay guys so you tried you know this uh, method 4 and it doesn't work for you okay so you have to try this method 4 and in most cases you know uh, this these fixes uh, you know will fix your issue but suppose if you know this doesn't fix this then you can try this method 5 then uh, you have to reset your phone to the factory version so you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here backup and security okay so uh, sorry backup and reset so just tap on it and you can you know, uh, you know back up your data before doing you know reset so just tap over here factory data reset as you can see it will erase all of your data on the phone so just tap on it and erase stored con content if you like you can check this option and just tap on reset phone and follow the process and it will reset your you know phone okay guys so you tried you just need to try all these methods and let's see if this fixes your issue or not and please let me know in the comment section so yes thanks for watching and bye bye take care